It was a season that had the Carver faithful brimming with confidence. An elite, proven scorer leading the team in the backcourt, a group of potentially game-changing underclassmen poised to take the next step, and a coach ready and capable of pushing his team to the next level. After all, Fran McCaffrey had been there before. Expectations from the outside were high. Expectations from the team, even higher. Early season losses to Villanova and Iowa State aside, Iowa's run as darlings of the Big Ten had the country talking after wins over multiple top 10 programs. And then came their conference slide. Even with star guard Roy Devin Marble shaking off the demons that haunted him throughout early portions of last year's Big Ten schedule, Iowa's somewhat puzzling lack of ability to close when they tip off against top caliber teams and coaches has since resulted in a 1-5 stretch in conference play. And with several Hawks underperforming and their best moments seemingly behind them, the mood is grim and a town still looking to recapture the greatness it had once upon a time. The only way to go to is up, man. Um, uh, right now we're in, a, we're in a bad stretch and um, I have a little break here before the Big Ten tournament and uh, regroup and the only way to go is up. Undoubtedly, the team's woes stem primarily from the defensive end, where despite solid performances at the start of conference play, has gone south in a hurry. Something McCaffrey knows will have to change if the Hawks are to right the ship come tournament time. I, you know, a couple things. You know, it's fatigue a little bit. Uh, you know, I think we're a little bit fragile. I think that's safe to say. It remains to be seen whether this unit can find the magic that at one time had them ranked in the top 10 in the country. But for now, at this moment, it's 35 years and nothing to show for.